Hello everyone, Mason here, how are you doing? Welcome to day three of the Tag Marathon, the Books and Life Tag. Originally created by Steve Donahue, I was tagged by Sandy over at Miss Reads A Lot. Both of their videos will be linked in the description. I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to struggle with at least a few of the questions in this tag because they seem to be quite centred around people who have physical book collections, which I don't. I'm going to try my best though, so let's begin. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being a normal person and 10 being the late Harold Bloom, how important are books to you? I'm sorry to say it, but before this tag I'd never even heard of Harold Bloom. Steve Donahue put himself at a solid 9, and there's no way books are as important to me as they are to a literary critic, so I'd have to put myself at a 5. I love reading, I really do, but I mostly do it for entertainment. I also love my partner, gaming and coffee, so 5 seem pretty reasonable. Next question. Where does your personal library stand in relation to the rest of your life? In my phone. Do you have more books than ever before? Fewer? How has your library changed? As a teenager, I had quite a good library. I had a bookcase with three shelves almost completely stocked. For the last eight years, I haven't owned a single book, but since I started collecting again, I now own over 50. That might not seem much to some people, but considering I've only read 20 this year and I'm not going to stop collecting anytime soon, 50 is more than enough. Take a mental step back and ask yourself, what's the first bookish impression a newcomer would have in your home? I don't let strangers in my house and I don't make new friends because I hate people, but if I was to have a visitor, considering that I don't have any books in the house whatsoever, they'd probably assume that I don't like reading. How often, if ever, do you clean and reorganise your books? I give my phone screen a wipe every now and again, does that count? On average, how many books do you require in a given week? As many as I like, because I do what I want. Probably about two or three, because I can't resist those daily deals. Someone needs to help me. What song is your current earworm? The screams of my enemies. Also, voluntary execution by the Popes of Chili Town, because trumpets make me happy. What percentage of your self-control do you maintain in a well-stocked bookstore? Self-control? What is self-control? I lead an impulsive life and nobody tells me what to do. Considering I'm blind and I can only read audiobooks, the bookstore is right there. It's in my home. It's in my phone. There's always deals. It's really easy to buy them. Zero percent self-control. Do you ever feel the need to take a break from books? If so, what form does it take? Usually, if I need a break, me and my partner take a trip to the saloon. We have a game of blackjack, then we find a guy with a nice horse and wagon and we rob him blind. Either that or Netflix. Some days we take a trip into the town centre and sit in the public garden where we have our coffee. When you meet someone new, how long does it take for you to bring up books? Since I'm filled with bitterness and hatred, I tend not to meet new people, but if I did, I'd grab them by the throat and say, do you like books? And if they said no, I'd tell them to run away as fast as possible. Have you given any thought to or made provisions for your personal library after you croak? No, because I'm not going to die. 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 Are you known amongst your friends and loved ones for your weird and probably unhealthy relationship with books? Probably not. A lot of my friends are booktubers and most of them are more obsessed than I am. My question for today is this. What would you do if you were banned from reading books for an entire year? That took quite a bit of energy. That's it for day three though. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, the like and subscribe buttons are just sitting there waiting to be pressed. Now press them, or else. Or else what? You don't want to find out, mate. If you want to get in touch, say hi and have a chat, you know where the comments section is, or the link to my Twitter is in the description. Thanks ever so much for spending time with me today, guys. Until tomorrow, take care. For now, I'm off, and you should have a good one.
How often, if ever, do you clean and reorganise your books? How often, if ever, do you clean and reorganise your books? I'm not going to die. 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 I'm filled with bitterness and hatred. Bitterness and hatred. Bitterness and hatred.